A person will have to be responsible for every detail of his actions. Because every act by, by the human being will reflect consequences to his life and to his environment according to the fruit of his actions. Not just his actions, the consequences of his actions. You insulted a person in public, and that person, because of you, left the religion. A holy man like this insulted me in front of everyone in yeshiva. I don't want anything to do with religion. Ten years later, he married Christina. Twenty years later, he has four, four children that are all goyim. And one of them became Adolf Hitler and murdered millions of people. When you ask, what created Adolf Hitler? The answer will be, 25 years ago, the moment that the teacher insulted that person, that was planting the root. And that root in heaven started to grow and grow and grow. And what you see right now is the fruit that came out of that horrible transaction, horrible choice. That's how it goes, for good and for bad. Here it's a bad example. Sometimes it's the other way around. A person was crushed and broken, he was on the way down, and you took him, and you revived him, and you brought him back to religion. And now he has four kids, and he married a kosher girl, and he has four kids, and they all became Talmidei Chachamim, and one of them became Rav Ovadia Yosef, who taught Torah to millions of people and brought so much good to the world. Somebody asked, what is the root of this Chacham? Going back 30 years before to the time that you put into that person, bringing him back to religion. Now you, you face the fruits of the action. So by a human being, it's not reaction per transaction. Each transaction has a chain reactions that follows for good and for bad. One bad word you say to your child in a Shabbat table, in front of the guest, can reflect thousands of transactions after that. He doesn't want to get up in the morning, he doesn't want to pray, he doesn't pray, so his life becomes horrible, he's depressed, nobody wants to marry him, they see how he is, he doesn't care of himself, he doesn't have haircut. He's sloppy. Why? He has no reason to leave. Why? His father keeps insulting him. Same thing with a woman. You, took, you put her down. You take away her confidence. She, doesn't, she lost desire to leave. She, since she's like this, she doesn't pray. She doesn't retail in. She doesn't care to be a good mother anymore. And sometimes, Chaz Shalom, it leads her to do horrible things. Much worse than that. So every transaction, Rabotai, that you see, you see actually uh, uh, consequences of something that was done a lot before. So Rabotai, since a person is actually activate himself, any subject to receive the fruits of his actions for good or for bad, everyone that is born, every transaction that is born from his action former action, is supervised in 100% supervision. And it's all mida keneged mida, measure for measure. I know modern Orthodox, conservative, and reforms hate this word, measure for measure. But we're here to teach Torah, not what the university taught them. We teach Torah, not... Uh, 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 you know, science in university. When we teach science and math and history, we'll teach other things. Right now we teach what Hashem is saying is Torah. And it's Torah is, the entire concept of life is built on this concept. Mida, keneged mida. Measure for measure. Good for good, bad for bad. Reward to the righteous, punishment to the wicked.